Sky Rescue. OK, have a look at the two images in front of us. Looking at the top one, notice that if you expose for the foreground, the sky tends to be washed out. And looking at the bottom image, if you expose so that you get some detail in the sky, the foreground is uh, underexposed. And this tutorial is going to show you how to combine the best from both. So the first step, let's get both uh, into one file. So select the Move tool. This is important. Hold the Shift key. And now click and drag the underexposed foreground image onto the uh, overexposed sky image. And there we see we've now created a new layer in that first file. OK, having done that, we're now going to close this bottom one because we've now finished with it. And I'll just uh, make this window bigger, change it to 10% so we can see better what's going on. Now we're going to add a layer mask to layer 1 as the next step to this technique. So there's the layer mask added. The next step is to take a copy of the background layer ready to paste onto the mask that we've just created on layer 1. So select the background, select the whole of the background with Control A. It's now ready for pasting. Now to do the paste you need to alt click on that mask on layer 1 and now that we've got the whole thing turned to a, a white rectangle showing that we've got that selected it's now just a simple matter of control V to paste and notice it's now a black and white version that's just uh, what happens when you do it this way and just for visual neatness I'm going to deselect to get rid of the, uh, the selection marquee okay the next step is to apply a Gaussian blur. Notice that the layer mask is still selected. Now for an image of this re resolution, about 3600 pixels on the long edge, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and you can see a radius of, well in this case, 41.1 pixels, but around 40 is just fine. If I switch off the preview and switch it on again, just so you can see what's going on. So now just say OK. Right, let's now see what the, um, the combined image with that layer mask looks like. You see we've now got nice sky, lots of detail in it, we can see the clouds however the foreground has darkened down as well so to attend to that we're just going to make sure that the image itself on layer 1 is selected and then we're going to select an eraser and have a quick look you'll see that um, I've got a large diameter with a hardness set to about 15%. That's so that we can get uh, fairly close to the edge as we erase without affecting the sky too much. So just getting close, not actually touching the edges, but fairly close. Just go around and then erase the rest. And there, if you look at the uh, at layer one, you can see what I've erased. Okay, so let's have a look at the final effect. We'll switch off layer one and switch it back on again. And you'll notice a transition along this edge is fairly nice. If you want to, you can zoom in and. Uh, and uh, get much closer with the eraser to those edges, but I'm quite happy with that. So that has shown you a very nice, quick and simple way of combining a well-exposed sky with a well-exposed foreground. 
The next steps with this, that I would take with this shot would be to attend to the contrast and the levels, but I'll leave that for another tutorial as I've got a really neat way of um, showing you how to achieve perfect contrast. So, thanks for watching, and I hope that you've uh, learned and enjoyed this really quick technique.